So here's my first attempt here. Pretty clean toothbrush. I don't know if I'm getting any bristle, kind of bristle action there because it's squeezing it down so much. And I'm bending the bristles over so I'm not rubbing the ends into the... I have another... Uh, I take uh, toothbrushes and trim them. Trim them way off like that. So they're very, very short. And that gives you a very useful cleaning tool uh, for cleaning things like uh, knobs and stuff like that. Uh, how am I even going to know if I'm doing any benefits here? see any more white in there. Okay, let's see what's happened, if anything. I can't imagine it's going to look any different. Well, you know what, it might. It might actually look a little different. do is give it a try. Put the little rubber cap back on. After a few tries. Boy, it'd be easy for me to lose this in my shop, that's for sure. mentioned I've misplaced the uh, <laughs> center post. Doggone it. That uh, makes it a little tricky. Just line it up and hope it stays put. Okay, I give this a... I'm going to give it 10% chance of working. 10%. I still haven't fixed this. I missed it. There we go. Boy, that's not good at all. There we go. Come on. No. Nothing. Nothing again. Nothing at all. I wonder if there's something more going on here. For instance, when the uh, arm, when this is lifted up, it pins itself somehow. It sure doesn't feel, I mean, I'm lifting it up a lot. There's, there's no, there's no resistance at all. I think we got to replace that little piece of, uh, of uh, that little rubber piece because I think it's gone from being a sticky thing to being actually a lubricating thing. Uh, yeah, like like what silicone feels like. It feels silicone. It feels always feels lubricated, um, and that's what that stuff feels like. In fact, it even looks like silicone to me. Silicone. Can you call it silicone rubber? So I really need to hunt down another material. For that. Let's see if we can get the uh, on off switch going here. We haven't even, I haven't even tried playing a record here yet, so but let's go after this 
that should be easy to loosen up. Now many of you would know I also I take care of a jukebox here in the city I live in at a small diner. Uh, a 1950s style diner. And uh, the exciting thing about the jukebox is I'm waiting for a whole new set of records. 50 new records to come in the mail to go into the jukebox. Finally updated since the uh, What's in the jukebox right now is probably 20 years old. What's supposed to push it back? So you, you engage it, let go. There's a little spring under there. I've got this thing locked. I gotta unlock it here. Just by moving the right lever. Figure out which one that is. <laughs> Okay, apparently I cannot figure out how to unlock it short of spinning this whole mechanism. Okay. So that little spring appears to me it's doing nothing. It's right underneath here. I've locked it again. Ah. You know what, I just got a good look at this piece operating down here again by turning it by hand. Let me watch that. I'm wondering if it's a dimensional thing. But it can't be, because when this operates, the tone arm is lifted up, there's no doubt there's contact there. Son of a gun. So what to do about this? Which I have locked once again. Very, very tight. Where exactly is it tight? I think it's tight right in here. did nothing. There's a whole shaft up here that I'm willing to bet is the problem. Getting better. some in at the top. I think we can. So make a bit of a mess here.
that's got it. regular oil on there. Tiny little bit. That's good. That's all loosened up now. I missed. Okay, so I'm looking at these springs, making sure the caps are correct. Maybe this wire got in the way. That's probably what it was. There we go. Okay. I didn't notice that before. You can see the speed. Um, forgot the name for that. Uh, strobe. P speed. Strobe target. Okay, let's try it once again. Why not? It's still, ooh. It's still uh, a lot of weight on here. Nothing, nothing whatsoever. <laughs> you know what? This is stuck. Hey, 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 something going on there. Hey, hey, what was that? How can this be stuck? How can this be stuck during that operation? picking up. Okay, there's something else going on here. Stuck. Right until the moment it releases. Hey, there's a, there's a good hint there. I thought I checked that though by myself, driving it up to the top and moving it. It's as smooth as can be. Oh, what happened? It's like a brake came on here. That's... That's 
got to be it. Let's figure out what it is. I'm going to take the cartridge off here before I wreck it. Should have done that a long time ago. Need to wait though. Let's go again here. If we're struggling to get this in. Something else going on. Something else is going on here. Now, yeah. okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut the power first, bring this out, and it's as free as free as a bird, as free as can be, loose and free. Now I'll turn this and I'll watch for the moment where it loses its looseness. Hey, okay, what's going on there? It, this is not in contact with the rubber hat. I don't know what it was, it stopped, whatever. I have the turntable on its side, so we should be ready for some weird behavior too. There, it's... This pin is bumping into this arm here. <gasps> another, wait a minute. There should be another rubber bumper on that? What is that? What is that piece? A little spring-loaded plunger there. It's definitely pushing uh, it's spring-loaded. You can see the spring in behind. I wonder if there's a rubber bumper missing from that, but I don't see what it's supposed to bump onto. Okay, let's keep turning here. Okay, so there it starts getting into contact. as can be. Oh. I get to, I'm pretty quiet because uh, I'm not sure what this mechanism is supposed to be doing here. Let's get the other camera going on it. I'll show you what I found here. Okay, so I think I think there's a lot more going on here than I first realized. So it's just funny how you learn things like this. So there there's the rubber bumper there, if you can see quite clearly. Here's the sliding plate. This arm is a little curious. And you can barely see it in the camera. There's another buttony sort of thing right right here. Spring loaded. Now, I really misinterpreted this uh, quite a bit here. So let's take a look at what's going on. Let's see if we can figure this figure this out. For all these turntables, you'd think I'd be an expert in this kind of stuff, but no. Okay, so let me just sharpen the focus here a little bit. So, more of the mechanism. Aside from this bumper, which you know what, when this goes up, it doesn't it doesn't push the arm up. This is not responsible for pushing the arm up. Let me absolutely prove that. I'm pushing it up here. Mm 
No, you know what? This guy is just a little spring-loaded bumper like this one down here, which I've just discovered. What's really lifting the arm is this piece here. This piece lifts the arm, and then this piece, this metal piece, is actually the part that's pushing on the arm pusher. Look. You can't see it, but the arm is, is jumping up and down a bit. Okay, so I misinterpreted this mechanism. I thought this black piece here, the slider, was contacting this rubber piece and pushing it upwards and lifting the arm. But now, I know it's not that. It's actually something else. And you know what? It's just getting no pressure onto this. Oh, you can even see the gap. Look, look. Supposed to lift it higher? No, that's that's it. That's the top of the height. Oh, that's interesting. The height restriction, the height, the distance I can make this travel is based on how far that plunger back there will go. And that plunger will only go as far. I think I may be able to show you this. As far as the tone arm will raise. Sorry for the out of focusness, but that'll still do it. So here we go. See it go up? That's the tone arm. You're looking. It's as if you're standing on the cartridge looking back at the tone arm. But that's that's the end of its upward travel. It won't go up any higher. So why that is, I don't know yet. Could be it's the adjustment I'm looking at in the back there. But at that limit, when it reaches that upward limit, I feel like an idiot. I didn't didn't spot this the first time. Even though all that examination and I missed it. No contact. No contact with a rubber thing. I can grind the top of that till I'm blue in the face. It gets there if I push really hard on it. I doubt the mechanism pushes that hard. And I'm actually bending parts when I do that. I'm actually bending the springiness in some of these parts here to make that happen. Okay, so I can turn this by hand. We'll watch it. Yeah, right there. It's pretty darn close, isn't it? struggling with my camera stand here. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm just trying to see if there's contact there. Well, it looks like there could be contact, but it would be a restricted. Let's let me turn that thing again. This has become a bit of a crazy situation here for me. Here we go. It's definitely depressing it. Let's go around again. Here we go. Starting now. Okay, you can see it's lifting the arm. That's pushing that plunger. It's reaching the rubber thing, but at the same time it's hitting a limit screw back here. Let's see if I can show you that. There's the limiting screw. It appears to be spring-loaded there. I think if I lower this limiting screw, it will raise the arm farther. It will drive the plate closer into the rubber mounting, the rubber bumper thing and the whole thing will start working. I think it's lowering this. <laughs> Who knows? Let's give it a try. Get my hands full of camera here. Yeah. 
past that. to adjust. I think I'm bringing it down. Okay. I think this thing can travel farther. Barely contacting that rubber thing. Let's, uh, let's go farther with this. in the end of its travel here. Let's give it a go. See if we've made any difference here. come to the correct diagnosis. I don't know how the thing works. I think that's my chief problem. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Let's put the cartridge back in for weight. Let's try it. Why would I think that? Because it hasn't worked yet. Came up a lot higher. Just maybe a wee bit more. <gasps> Look at that. Halfway back. Okay, so the next, next issue with it is that the top hat is, sh is shrunken. Uh, the little rubber piece needs to ride higher on that post. So I need to do something to make that run just a little higher and yet not get rubbed right off the top because there's not enough left on the post to hold on. That it sounds to me like sticking something inside the little rubber cuppy thing there and sticking it back on the post. What would that be? Almost anything. Almost any little debris type thing stuck in there. At least as an experiment it will fill us in on fill us in on something. me little rubber thing. I have a plan for you. I thought about putting shrink plastic on the post and other things to replace this, but none of them have sounded very very good. So I just gotta stick something little thing up in there. Okay, I gotta go find a little thing that I can stick in there. <laughs> 